Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. I'm popping in live on a Sunday because I was in my craft room and I was making this pretty card so I thought I would pop on and show you. So I'm just switching over to my Facebook channel. How's everybody doing today? It is very hot here in Ottawa. Hence, I am in my craft room. We're having a very hot end of the summer. So we probably won't catch anyone live, but I will post this, well, it will be on my Facebook page and I'll also post it on my YouTube channel. A couple of reminders. I have the fall festival stamp camp coming up on the 23rd of September. Only a couple of kits left and here's just a sampling of the 14 cards that we're going to make. So we're going to be making this cute grateful card. A nice fall one using the beautiful All About Autumn paper. I'm in love with this one. Pretty Peacock. Halloween losing his eye, a Christmas, and another Christmas. So those are just some samples of the ones that you would be making. All the information is on my blog, MarianneCowan.com. And then I have my breast cancer fundraiser coming up on October 21st, featuring the Magical Meadow suite of products. And here is one of the cards we will be making. And this one is just a sample, but we won't be making this one, but just to show you how beautiful the paper is and the die cut elements. Definitely a set you would probably want to have. All right, today we are going to be working with Joy of Christmas Designer Series Paper. It is a new paper coming out in the catalog starting September 6th this week. And it definitely has some beautiful Christmas um, theme designs but it also has like a green check, red check, some musical notes, wood grain but this one caught my eye when I first looked at this paper and I thought oh my gosh that is so beautiful and that would make a really pretty card not for Christmas but just a really pretty card and Stampin' Up! concept artists usually paint if it's appropriate oftentimes in watercolor um, a painting and then they use digital processing to create the paper so this one you can tell is watercolor it is just so pretty and when I first saw it I thought oh I want to go really soft pastels so I used soft sea foam as my color to complement this paper and I wasn't sure after I did it if it was a bit too soft, so I, I'm going to show you the one I made with soft sea foam, and then we're going to make one with old olive. I think the other coordinating colors, maybe shaded spruce, yeah. So old olive and shaded spruce. Soft sea foam is actually not one of the co the coordinating colors, but I felt that it did look nice. Anyways, I'll show you, and you can be the judge. And then I'll show you a couple of little tricks. So here's the card. So I used the designer series paper on this panel. This is just a plain little Z fold card. Super simple to make, one of my favorite fun folds. But then I've added soft elements with the vellum, the soft sea foam, vellum leaves. This is a retired ribbon, um, crinkled seam binding. I just can't get rid of it. And I did color it using my blends with soft sea foam, so it's a very light, light green. And then on the inside, I use this embossing folder. It comes in a two-pack. It's called Elegant Eucalyptus 3D Embossing Folder. And so on this card, I used this one, but right over the edge, more like about that. And on the other one, I used this one, which you'll see in a minute. 
it's hard to see. And you'll see this one in a minute. But if you do have the stitched greenery die, I think that would look really pretty as well. I'll just show you what it would look like. I think that's pretty as well. This one is retired now, so I didn't use it. I wanted to use some current product. Anyways, that's that. And so we're going to do one in Old Olive. And you can decide if you like soft sea foam or old all of the best or maybe you like both of them so yes the crinkled seam binding the white crinkled seam binding i went i knew it was not going to be around i did buy a couple of extra spools we do have some new white ribbons but they were just a bit too big and glittery i wanted something soft and subtle hi linda so that's why i chose the crinkled seam binding and you might have some in your stash or just any white ribbon this is the card we're making. This is in soft sea foam, and we're going to make it in um, old olive. So the other things I used were the layering leaves stamp stamps and the bow punch. The bow punch is on back order, but it'll be back in stock, and it's definitely one you want to have in your craft room for sure. And then what I did for this one is I stamped the leaves and then punch them out. So this punch, although they were created diff at different times, um, Rachel Tessman was a million dollar achiever and she designed this one and she designed it to match this punch. And the sentiments are perfect. Thinking of you, hello. So I used hello on this one. I also stamped very lightly on here. This die is from Autumn Leaves die set and the circle is from Stylish Shapes. No, I'm wrong. This and this is from Timeless Arrangements. And so is this little sprig here. I just love that set as well. So the Timeless Arrangements, I used this one. And I used this sentiment. So another one that you definitely need to have in your stash. This one is just really pretty. And the little dots I used on card we're going to make today. Really pretty. I used soft sea foam and then old olive for the sentiment. So a great one. And then Timeless Arrangements has some wonderful sentiments as well. But I felt like this card would be kind of a wow card that you'd send to someone for a big event, maybe a big birthday or a wedding. I don't know. So I went with hello. And then I went with thinking of you. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to put it together. I'm sure you've figured it out. So to make the Z fold, Z or Z, depending where you live, just fold it in half and then take your top piece and fold it back onto itself. I will have this on my website posted shortly after the video because I already have it done actually. So you can see on this one, I used the other embossing folder, just ran it along the edge. So I'm just going to tuck that in like this. Let's see if my glue works today. I forgot to check it. Oh yeah, it's so hot. Well, we have our air conditioning on, but the glue is, my other glue at my other spot was coming out so quickly, I think it was melting. So let's put that just like that. So I only did it halfway across so that enough so that it goes right to the two and an eighth inch mark, but so you have room to write your sentiment. So let's take our paper now. You can be deciding if you like old olive or if you prefer soft sea foam or if you just love both of them. I like to line up the top. You don't notice as much at the bottom, but it should line up perfectly at the bottom if you've cut it properly. But you know, it's paper. Oh, the other thing. Originally, I wanted to have a bunch of layers on this. So I was going to use these ones from, I think, Something Fancy. But I don't know, it didn't wow me. So that's when I took out the Timeless Treasures. So just so you can kind of know my thought process. And we do have a vellum circle. 
So I like the circle and then the rectangle. I think that looks pretty. So this is the one that's designed to fit right on the back like that. And then it's just a matter of tucking these in where you think you want them to go. I do like to add some vellum. I don't seem to have very much vellum here. Oh. Let's check over here. I always have little bits and pieces all over the place. Okay, that might be good. So I'm going to do this one first, a little bit of glue. I like using white glue because I can move it around. And it fits nicely in the corner. So I usually just flip it over and make sure that I've got it lined up properly. Hey Kathy. Anyone else in their craft room today? I was saying it's very hot in Ottawa today. Like we have a heat warning on. So it's a nice day to be in my craft room. And obviously these leaves are bigger than this, but I think it looks nice all together. I'll do one more. I'm going to try to tuck this one just in front, maybe. Yeah. So I'm going to put it like that. And I'm going to just add a glue dot, I think would be the easiest. A little pokey tool. There we go. And then this. Oh, we need the bottom one. So I like doing them at diagonals, one some this way and then some this way. And I do have another little piece of vellum that I'm going to add first. You kind of have to look and put them on in reverse order. So I'll start with this little sprig. Probably needs another vellum up there, but I don't seem to have one here, so. And like that. Just grab another glue dot. And then we're going to attach this to the circle. And I am going to use dimensionals for both. So I'm going to put. I love layering greenery too. It's one of my favorite things to do. As you can tell if you watch my cards. Hey Shannon, back from your trip. Oh, it's chilly in Alberta. Hmm, not chilly here. I think on the back deck in the shade, the thermometer says 32 Celsius. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we're going to attach it with dimensionals, but we have to remember that we only want to put them right here. So I'm going to put one here. I did have to move them on my other card because I put them to, I put them over where the vellum was so you'd be able to see them. So let's just add that there. All right, they definitely look different, I'm going to say, but I don't know if I, I don't know better or worse. Could tuck that one in there. Um, then I'm going to take, these are some of the new deckled, what are they called? Deckled dots, I think, from the new upcoming catalog. So they come in a nice variety of colors, and this one not exactly sure which green it is, but we're going with adding it here. I find some of these embellishments will take on whatever color you add them to. So let's put one here and another one there. All right, quick and simple. I like it with a vellum circle. I like changing up having a circle and then a rectangle instead of just everything layered up the same. That's what I didn't like about this one. Although when I bought these dies, that's what I really liked about them. 
and they are it is nice for on a card but for something like this I just it didn't wow me so it didn't get used and we're not going to put a bow on this one so that they do look a little bit different all right so there's the two one is old olive one is soft sea foam this is the piece of designer series paper which will be available when the new catalog releases and it's from joy of christmas so look at your papers carefully because even though it's joy of christmas definitely i did not make christmas cards with this paper you could but i did not all you have to do is add some um, ivy and um, other things to make it more Christmassy. So for this one I added pearls and this one I added the deckled dot. I think they're deckled dots. So do you have a favorite? Do you prefer soft sea foam or do you prefer old olive? I think they're both pretty but definitely when I first saw this paper I really wanted to go with the soft um, colors but then when I started making it I wasn't sure if that was a good choice I do like the finished one but I do like this one as well it does need one other little sprig here of vellum but I will add that later okay Kathy likes old olive nice so a really quick and simple card design as I said this fold is just really simple but I think it adds a little bit of a wow factor to your card and it doesn't take a whole bunch of extra paper and then also what's nice about this fold is you can use a little two inch strip of designer series paper instead of having the paper over top of the whole card and I usually sometimes I'll add the other coordinating piece on the inside but I do like to often use an embossing folder to coordinate with the pattern okay Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are getting excited about the new catalog. And if you liked this video, I do appreciate it if you like or share. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you will know next time I post a new video. And the, you're welcome, Kathy, the PDF with the measurements, although there's not a lot of measurements, it's really just this one, two inches by five and a quarter. But there will be pictures up on my blog, MarianneCowan.com. Also, slash events if you're interested in signing up for any of my upcoming classes. Thank you, and enjoy the last few hours of our long weekend. I know it's a long weekend in Canada and the U.S. I'm not sure about all the other countries, but if it is a long weekend for you, enjoy the last few hours. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.